Hi, my name is Mika Ihonen and I'm a senior application engineer here at uBlocks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to define the manual IMU alignment angles. In order to do so, I have three small demonstrations. First, I will show you the right hand rules. Then we're going to talk about different reference frames. And finally, we are ready to define the IMU alignment angles. I hope you enjoy watching. In this first demonstration, we're going to talk about the right hand rules. When talking about the installation frames and alignment angles, the right hand rule becomes an essential tool. The right hand rule is an easy way to define the positive direction of the axis and the positive rotations. The axes are simply defined by thumb, index finger and middle finger, 1, 2, 3, or x, y, z correspondingly. The order is always the same, thumb, index finger, middle finger, 1, 2, 3, x, y, z. Easy to remember and a very portable tool. Now we can use the right hand rule to define any right handed three dimensional coordinate frame. That is, place your right handed thumb, index finger and middle finger in an orthogonal orientation. Now they form a basic right handed coordinate frame 1, 2, 3, x, y, z. Please pay attention to the order of the axis. Otherwise your coordinate frame might not be right handed and then you will get incorrect results. Let's talk about the specific right handed coordinate frame known as front left up frame. We will use the front left up frame later when we are talking about the reference frames such as the installation frame. Now place your right hand in front of you and open the fingers for the coordinate frame axis. Now your thumb should point to the front, index finger to the left and middle finger to up. Please note there are several other similar frames and they shall not be confused with the front left up frame. In addition to the coordinate frame axis, we can apply the right hand rule to define the positive direction of the rotation angles. In this case we mainly focus on the thumb and treat the other fingers as a group. Next. Wrap your hand around any of the axes, such as Z axis or the up axis. Make sure your thumb points to the positive direction of that axis. Now your other fingers are pointing towards the positive rotation angle. In this case, counterclockwise rotations mean positive angles and clockwise rotation negative angles. Now we are familiar with the right-handed rules and can proceed to the next topic and discuss about the reference frames. Before we can define the IMU alignment angles, we must get familiar with different coordinate frames known as reference frames. Let's start with the installation frame, which is typically the vehicle frame. This frame follows the same right-hand rule and it is easiest to understand if you align yourself with the installation frame. That is, just imagine yourself seated in the car and look to the front. The front of the vehicle is aligned with the front axis or the x-axis of the installation frame. The other axis follow the right hand rule as discussed earlier. Place your right hand in front of you and align your thumb, index finger and middle finger orthogonally. First, your thumb points to the front of the vehicle and it is aligned with the x-axis. Next, your index finger points to the left and it is aligned with the y-axis. And finally, the middle finger points up and it is aligned with the z-axis of the installation frame and the vehicle frame. Now we have defined the installation frame xyz as a front left up frame according to the right hand rule. Then let's discuss about another important frame known as IMU frame. The IMU frame has similar X, Y, Z axis and they follow the right hand rule. Please note that the IMU orientation can vary between the products and therefore it is always important to check the correct orientation from the technical documentation. 
On this EVK, the orientation is nicely printed on the top side. As you might have noticed, the x-axis of the EVK points back, y-axis to the right and z-axis to up. As the last preparation, we must align the IMU with the installation frame. That is, the x-axis of the IMU must be aligned with the x-axis of the installation frame and same applies to the y and z-axis. In this case, the IMU alignment is very easy to fix. We just rotate the EVK about the z-axis and in result, the IMU frame is perfectly aligned with the axis of the front left up installation frame. Now we are ready to talk about the IMU alignment angles in the next video. Previously we aligned the IMU frame with the installation frame, which was an important step before defining the IMU alignment angles. Now we are ready to rotate the IMU or EVK towards the installed orientation. All these rotations follow the right hand rules as discussed earlier. Furthermore, it is very important to repeat all the rotations in a specific order. First about the IMU Z axis, then about the IMU Y axis, and lastly about the IMU X axis. Let's have a closer look at the first rotation about the IMU Z axis. This refers to the yaw alignment angle and it follows the right hand rule. Imagine that you grab the IMU Z axis with your right hand and start rotating. Now your fingertips will point towards the positive direction. In the case of yaw angle, counterclockwise rotations result a positive yaw angle, while clockwise rotation yields a negative yaw angle. Keep turning until you reach the desired orientation. Next we will rotate the IMU about its y-axis and this is known as pitch alignment angle. Like we did before, grab around the IMU y-axis with your right hand and rotate until you reach the desired orientation. Make sure your thumb points to the axis direction. Then your other fingers will show the positive direction of the rotation. When the x-axis of the IMU points downwards, the pitch is positive and correspondingly if the x-axis points upwards, the pitch is negative. The last rotation is about the IMU x-axis and refers to the roll angle. Once again, grab your hand around the IMU x-axis and make sure your thumb points toward the positive direction. Your other fingers will indicate the positive direction of the rotation. The roll angle is positive when the IMU y-axis points upwards and negative when the IMU y-axis points downwards. Rotate the IMU until you reach the final mounting orientation of the IMU or EVK. And now we have defined all the necessary alignment angles. Let's repeat once again in the specific order. So first you need to rotate the IMU about the z-axis until you reach your desired mounting orientation. Then grab around the y-axis and rotate until you reach your desired mounting orientation. And lastly, grab around the x-axis and rotate until you reach your final mounting orientation. And this is how we have defined all the roll, pitch and yaw alignment angles manually. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and now you are ready to define your own IMU alignment angles. See you next time.